win, though. It was a straight set victory against the world number one, Novak Djokovic. And so Andy is the first British men's singles player to lift the trophy since Fred Perry in 1936. The most celebrated guest at the Wimbledon Champions Dinner didn't turn up until half past 11 last night. But Andy Murray is no longer a young man in quite such a hurry. If he didn't believe he was really Wimbledon champion, here he was, his girlfriend and mother by his side, being toasted and clapped, with the tennis heroes of his boyhood looking on. And there'll be plenty of time to celebrate this. The waiting is over! Wimbledon has a new men's champion and Britain an undisputed sporting hero. To believe that he just beat the world number one in straight sets might need more than one night to mark the occasion after 77 years of waiting. The centre court now belongs to Andy Murray and to the team that he has to thank for helping him become the greatest British tennis player since the war. He nearly forgot his longest serving supporter. He forgot his mum! But his mum Judy did get to hug her champion. So I understand you know, how much everyone else wanted to see a, a British winner uh, at Wimbledon, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried my best. And... Earlier, Novak Djokovic was outplayed. But shots that Murray never should have reached were somehow returned. Oh, he's got it! Goodness. Dunblane is now celebrating its most famous son and grandson. We just feel... We're just so thrilled for Andy. Oh, that's a cask going past. We're just thrilled for Andy and, and for everybody here too, that the support has been incredible. Murray will collect prize money of £1.6 million, but sponsorships will amount to far more. And if you believe this morning's newspapers, we'll soon be calling him Sir Andy. But that's not what this 26-year-old was looking for. This spectacular victory was its own reward. Andrew Verity, BBC News. And Mike is still in Wilmington for us this morning. Morning, Mike. Just how significant a moment is this for British sport? It's huge. I really do think it redefines British sport. It redefines what it means to be a, a British sports fan. Why? Well, because for several generations, most people alive would never have seen this, a men's British singles winner at Wimbledon. And for many decades, it didn't look possible. It was way beyond our wildest dreams, our imagination growing up in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Of course, in the 90s, Tim Henman started to, to get our hopes up, didn't he, getting to those uh, semi-finals. And then Andy Murray came along. And so we have thought that he could be finally the man to do it after this huge long wait. But of course, then he got to semi-finals for several years on the road. Then he got to last year's final, tantalizingly close but then there were the tears of pain last year and we wondered would he ever finally do it? Could he ever cope with the expectation and the pressure? Well, he showed yesterday that under Ivan Lendl, with his family around him, supporting him all the way, he was a complete player, the complete player, outclassing and outfoxing the best in the world, the world number one, Novak Djokovic. Let me just turn to my right because great excitement here. The man himself has just walked onto the players' lounge. There's a big crowd around him. He's looking relaxed after his late night, I'm sure. But Andy Murray is in the room. He's up here on the, the players' lawn at the moment, so we'll talk to him very shortly. But I think, I mean, is it beginning to sink in for him? For us, it is. And it's only the beginning, you know, because now the expectation and the pressure is off. Who knows what Andy can go on and achieve? The way he played, the way he was getting to shots, almost out of this world. Shots that looked impossible. They looked like winners from Novak Djokovic, but he was somehow getting to them, not only getting to them, lifting them over the net and playing a blinding winner. If you can just stick with me for a moment, because I think we might be able to speak to Andy Murray very shortly. We're just thinking if he's going to come over. He's getting his microphone on as we speak in his tracks, looking very relaxed. Well, we're certainly waiting for um, But it, it for could a be mic the start. Yeah. yeah. But it, as I say, it could be the start of big things because if you think, well, he's already won the US Open. Uh, he then got to the final of the Australian Open. Injury prevented him from doing anything at the French Open this year. Of course, he's got the Olympic title as well. And then here he was winning Wimbledon. Right. So he could really challenge for that world number one spot next year. And of course, he's got the little matter of defending his US Open title while, later this summer. While we wait for him to get mic'd up to speak to us, what is it about him, though, that makes him different to all the other British hopefuls we've had over the years. There is something different about not only the way he plays, but about the man himself, isn't there? 
Oh, absolutely. That steely determination. I mean, he's got his mum, Judy, behind him. In fact, Andy is coming in right now. Andy, can oh. I say thank you? Congratulations. Right. Thanks Aithin. for that. Aithin, I know that the programme Bill and Susanna are going to talk to you as well. We were just summing up what makes you different to all the British hopefuls we've had before. Obviously, you went to Spain to develop. You've had eight years of Wimbledon learning from your experiences. And that's the thing that impressed me most, really, was the way you, you do learn. You take things on board. You learn to deal with the pressure to come back from that disappointment of last year to now become the complete player. What is it you think that has made you different over these years? Yeah, I think a willingness to, to keep improving, really. I think, um, you know, obviously I had, I had a lot of the hard losses, uh, especially at the beginning of my career, but I always tried to learn from them. Um, I always continue to work hard, um, even after. And I think surrounding myself with, with the right people as well. You know, I've had the uh, you know, same team around me for five, six years uh, since I came on the professional tour. Just uh, some change to the coaching setup, and um, you know, Ivan Lendl has uh, has helped me a lot. Obviously, the last uh, last 18 months or so. And the way you were able this time to refocus, any time you sort of lose your cool with yourself, you're able within minutes to get back to that top form of the top top of the game again, wasn't it? That was the yeah, difference. Yeah, I think um, you, you you learn more. I mean, some people that comes more naturally to some people. It takes a little bit more time and. I think yesterday um, was a good example of how I've sort of changed on the court, evolved a little bit because yeah, when I was younger I used to get very frustrated and it would affect my game whereas you know, I, I know now to win those sort of matches you can't waste too much energy worrying about what's happened in the past, you need to try and look forward as much as possible. Andy, Andy can the you... whole world wants to talk to you. We've now got yeah. Bill Turnbull and Susanna <laughs> Reid in the studio. Morning Hello. Andy, can you hear us? Morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, first of all, congratulations. Congratulations, from fantastic. Everybody. How are you feeling this morning? Yeah, I, I feel all right. I'm uh, I'm tired. Uh, I probably slept for about an hour, uh, hour and a half last night. So yesterday was <laughs> was a long day, and um, yeah, just just tired today. Um, last year, after that um, emotional moment, we understand that subsequently you had a dream in which you dreamed that you'd won the title and then woke up to enormous disappointment. Well, how were your dreams last night? I wasn't sleeping long enough <laughs> <laughs> to have any dreams, but um, yeah, last year was, was a tough, tough uh, loss for me, one of the hardest of my career. And, the stuff that kind of followed a few days afterwards as well were not uh, was not ideal. So, yeah, just glad I managed to to finally do it yesterday, and um, you know I can hopefully play without as much sort of pressure and expectation for the the rest of my career. I mean, a, a famous victory, and everybody was congratulating you. But when you went up to greet your family and friends afterwards, there were mums around Britain <laughs> screaming at you to go back and say hi to your mum. What happened? Uh, well, my mum wasn't actually sitting in the player's box, um, so I obviously went up and saw everyone that was in the box, and my mum was actually sitting a few rows behind, so, you know, I didn't know exactly where everybody was sitting, and then obviously said hi or thanks to, to everyone in the box turned round and then um, I just heard a couple of people shouting that you'd <laughs> forgotten your mum and yeah. then obviously I turned around and Because of all the people to forget, you don't forget it. your mum, Andy, that's the <laughs> thing. No, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, of anyone, mums are going to be the most forgiving. That final game was so, well, frankly, frightening for people watching at home. It felt like, you know, as you were serving for the match, it was one step forward, two steps back. What did it take? What were you thinking in your mind about how important to the match that game was? Um, when I sat down at the end change, I actually felt OK. I wasn't really thinking too much about it. I was just concentrating on the first point and where I was going to hit my first serve on the first point. But then when I went 40 love up, I was thinking in my head that, you know, I'm about to win Wimbledon, so you know, very rarely will you lose your serve from 40 love up. Um, and then a few points later, I'm facing break point, and I mean, some of the points in that last game were unbelievable. I can't really remember exactly what happened in it, but it's the toughest sort of three, four minute period of my career, some of the hardest points I've ever played, and um, uh, just mentally really, really challenging. Well, um, not many people, uh, single individuals, get to make 
the whole of Britain mm. joyous in one moment. You've done that. We'd like to thank you and congratulate you. Yeah. Well done. Andy Murray, thank you. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. Great to talk to you this morning, Andy.